hello my dears so now we are going to discuss about swing equation which is very very important my dear very very important topic in steady state analysis because a big question will not be asked for competitive examination but a short portion of that will be asked one of that top i mean short portion is nothing but swing equation directly you can expect swing equation what is the swing equation na? that also you can expect so <clears throat> what is the concept of swing equation we will discuss that see my dears this is the alternate alternator rotor this is the alternator rotor it continuously delivering some power okay it continuously delivering some power what happened when increasing the speed of the shaft or we are increasing the shaft uh, torque increasing the shaft torque what happened it will uh, run right the shaft torque is in anti clockwise direction normally we are taken in such a manner that the machine is rotating in anti clockwise direction so the shaft torque will be nothing but what t s h and suppose the machine is running normally without any load or without any disturbance the machine is running smoothly and due to the shaft torque the rotor will rotate the rotor will rotate and definitely there will be some electrical energy as an output it will produce some electrical power no? electrical power due to that power if you multiply what that power into omega that is radian per second if you multiply power into angular velocity you will get the torque correct now sorry torque into uh, angular velocity you will get the power that's all so definitely this THS is in one direction and T electromagnetic torque that is Tm is nothing but my dear electromagnetic torque I will represent here TSH shaft torque Tem electromagnetic torque so if you neglect losses there will not be any losses in the uh, armature will not be any frictional or will not will not be any windage loss if, if you neglect all the losses my dear if all the losses all the losses neglected under steady state condition under steady state condition i can say that TSH will be equal to TEM. That means whatever you are giving the electrical energy, completely it will convert it into but whatever you are giving the mechanical energy, it will completely convert it into electrical energy. That means there will not be any losses. You assume there will not be any losses in the conversion process so that whatever you are giving as the kinetic energy as the input as the mechanical energy, it is completely converted into electrical energy so that the mechanical torque will be exactly equal to the electrical torque produced. Electrical torque produced. No? What, what will be the electrical torque? No? You know that T proportional T is equal to some constant K into phi into IA. That is the electrical torque. So under steady state condition or balanced condition, this will be equal to TSH will be equal to TEM. Or I can say that TSH minus TEM will be zero. TSH minus TEM will be zero. So if we are increasing the TSH, if you are increasing the TSH, what happened? The electromechanical torque, na, it is an electrical area. There will not be sudden increase in the electromechanical torque. There will not be any sudden increase in the electromechanical torque. So at that time, at that time, if you increasing TSH, increasing TSH means simply you are increasing the speed, my dear. You are increasing the speed. What happened? If you are increasing the speed means the mechanical energy it will not be suddenly converted into a complete mechanical energy converted may not be converted into the electrical energy that means at that time at that time the tsh and tm may not be equal that means under this steady state condition only tsh will be equal to tm if you increasing the torque tsh at that time because it is mechanical side now you can simply increase tsh at that time in accordance with this mechanical torque increased the electrical torque will not be increased it will be fall behind the mechanical torque because it is in electrical session if you suddenly increase in the mechanical session the electrical second sec section could not follow that it will lag behind so what happened if 
we increase TSH okay the relation TSH equal to TM will not hold will not hold true that means at that time there will be some TSH minus TEM happens normally TSH minus TEM will be will, will be zero at steady state condition if we suddenly increase a TSH means there is a difference between TSH and TEM happens and which is nothing but a resultant torque will happen there that torque will be comprised of TJ plus TB this TJ is nothing but my dear inertia torque This is nothing but my dear damping torque. Damping torque. That means there will be two torque produced. That means this TSH minus TEM can be represented like which would not be equal to zero now because if we increase the TSH, so definitely there will be some resultant torque. That resultant torque can be split again into two TJ and TB. This TJ is nothing but inertia torque and TB is nothing but damping torque. Actually, this damping torque is nothing but my dear. This torque will help to damp out oscillation. The increased torque in the rotor angle or rotor is a, is a type of oscillation. Because I already told you, whenever the rotor moves to its origin, I mean, see, did you remember that figure? I will redraw it again. I will redraw it again. So what happened if the machine attains a new position means what happened there will be a type of oscillation at the new position. See suddenly if you switch please and very very simple manner I will tell you if someone pushes you suppose I am here someone push me someone push pushes push me pushes me mean what 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 I do I will move my movement like this will be my movement now. so at the time of inter instant but disturbance what I what I feel like this okay steady state this will happen in the rotor also Whenever you are giving disturbance, disturbance is you are increasing the torque. What happened? The rotor will fluctuate for some time. The rotor will oscillate for some time and it will settle. So the oscillation, that type of, that always help to what? See, this damping torque is nothing but my dear, that oscillation, that oscillation should be itself suppressed. Okay due to its moment of inertia so that is nothing but the damping torque or the torque used for damping out that oscillation is called damping torque and another torque is nothing but inertia torque inertia torque means due to that weight of the rotor the rotor try to what produce a torque that is called the inertia torque see is it clear so the sum of these will be the total tsh minus tm and in which in which which torque is useful for steady state purpose or the stability purpose which torque is useful for steady stability purpose damping torque is useful for stability purpose because the system will be only stable very quickly if this damping torque act too much faster than this inertia torque now then only the system will be more stable as soon as the disturbance occur so this torque is actually aids this torque is actually aids stability aids stability it's aiding the stability now so in worst case analysis my dear in worst case analysis,
in worst case analysis so what do you mean by worst case analysis my dear what do you mean by worst case analysis worst case analysis is nothing but we are analyzing a system without the help of any stability factors that is called worst case analysis we are analyzing the system such that there will be not be any helping factor for stability so this is the helping factor now so worst case analysis can be done only when this is omitted this should not be there because it is the aiding factor for stability so we are dealing with worst case of analysis worst case means no one is helping me only i am that is nothing but the worst case analysis so in worst case analysis my relationship will become tsh minus tm equal to only tj or i can say that tj will be equal to tsh minus tm tsh minus t this is my worst case analysis so what will be t torque torque due to damping i mean sorry inertia so t is nothing but minus j into this day is nothing but the subscript j okay tj not the multiplication j so this j is i'm going to return a capital letter i will take okay j into d square theta has some no has some you can write it divided by dt square equal to dsh minus t see torque is i mean mechanical torque now this mechanical torque is nothing but d square theta s sum divided by dt square which is equal to dsh minus dsh minus t same arches multiply both side with the omega s and this is also omega s omega s e okay multiplied both side with omega s e s m s m s okay multiplied both side with omega s e so what i get my dear see j into omega s e here now omega s e what is omega s e actually electrical angular i mean velocity electrical angular velocity is nothing but 2 by p into what mechanical angular velocity am i correct my dear 2 by p into mechanical because theta electrically equal to p by 2 into theta mechanical or i can say that theta electrically equal to p by 2 into theta mechanical just a minute my dear just a minute multiply both side with omega s m my dear very sorry really omega s m okay omega s m so this omega s m now here it is omega s m now so theta electrically equal to p by 2 into theta mechanical or that theta mechanical will be equal to 2 by p into theta electrical correct so this will be omega s m i can write like 2 by p into omega s e correct again d square theta sm divided by dt square means it will be one more omega sm na d square theta sm divided by dt square is what my dear d theta divided by dt is what omega correct na d theta divided by dt is what omega and what will be d square theta d theta by dt square dt is equal to what omega so listen so this theta sm na this theta sm is in mechanical degree so again convert into electrical degree but what i get but equal into electrical degree what 2 by p into theta electrical so again if you convert this d square theta sm divided by dt square into electrical term you will get one more 2 by p into d square theta e or theta Yes, e divided by dt square. Is it correct? Which is equal to torque into angular velocity. What is that? Power na. So p s h minus p e m. Okay.
PSH minus PEM. Okay, PSH minus PEM, or simply you can say like mechanical minus electrical. PM minus P also you can take. PSH means shaft torque. You can represent like PM or simply PM as simply P. Okay, you can represent like. The confusion will arise here, my dear. See, this is nothing but the mechanical term. We have to convert it into electrical because PM minus P all related with the power. Power now. So this mechanical term you should convert into electrical now. So this omega SM is nothing but mechanical angular velocity this omega sum is also mechanical angular velocity so if you have to convert this into electrical means but again only this side we are going to convert j into this omega sum is here now this into multiply means omega is 2 by pi into omega c again d square theta s sum divided by dt square now if you convert that theta mechanical into theta electrical electrical is equal to p by 2 into theta mechanical so mechanical will be 2 by p into theta electrical so it will be 2 by p into d square theta sc divided by d t is equal to psh minus pm if you multiply tsh into omega sum you will get p pm mechanical power minus electrical power that's all is it clear so again rearranging this equation j into 2 by p the whole square into omega sc okay into d square theta s theta s e divided by divided by dt square which is equal to pm minus p okay my dear is it clear okay so what will be this j into 2 by p the whole square and omega s e what was that m m into d square theta simply theta e you can take theta e divided by dt square is equal to p a minus p okay so let be equation number one taking the equation number one see my dear we have we have theta equal to or theta simply theta e is equal to omega s into t plus del i already explained how this obtained so what is d theta e divided by dt which is nothing but which is nothing but what my dear omega s plus d del divided by dt am i right my dear because omega s into t with respect to t if you are differentiating this omega s into dt by dt is equal to 1 once more i am integrating d square theta e divided by dt square is equal to this constant now omega s is a constant so it will become 0 plus d square l divided by dt square this equation we need so substitute substitute 2 in 1 so we will get instead of this d square theta e divided by dt square we can use d square del divided by dt square so m is equal to m into d square del divided by dt square equal to pm minus p very 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 important this is called the swing equation this is called the swing equation directly this equation can be asked in the examination so this is that much important it's that much important so what you mean by swing equation so swing equation is what it is the relationship between rotor angle and power correct my dear relationship between rotor angle and power is nothing but the swing equation so this d square del by dt square is nothing but my dear acceleration am i right because d square del by dt square is not d square theta divided by dt square d theta by dt is equal to omega then d square theta divided by dt square is equal to what acceleration or simply alpha acceleration or simply alpha so this equation can be right like m alpha is equal to pm minus p m alpha is equal to pm minus p 
ओके सो फॉर एक्सामेशन यू जस्ट नीड टू रिमेंबर दिस इक्वेशन ओनली दिस फॉर युअर नॉलेज आई एम से ऑल द डेरीवेशन साइड एंड ऑल ओके सो वी हाव एम आलफा सिकल पी एम मैन पी बी सो अट स्टडी स्टेट और आई और इक्विलिब्रियम ना इक्विलिब्रियम और नो लोड सिंपली नो लोड नो लोड ओके नो करेक्ट स्टडी स्टेट इज एक्चुअल और स्टेबल इज एक्चुअल स्टडी स्टेट अट स्टडी स्टेट आई कैन से दैट पी एम मैन पी इज इक्वल टू वाट सी रो ना वाट एवर यू मेकानिकल पवर यू आर गिविंग दैट हॉल विल बी कन्वेट इन इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी सो दैट देर विल नॉट बी एनी डिफरेंस बिटवीन मेकानिकल एंड इलेक्ट्रिकल पवर्स सो पी एम मैनस पी इज इक्वल टू सी रो so i can say that m alpha is equal to 0 or i can say that alpha is equal to 0 this alpha is equal to 0 means i can say that d del by dt is equal to constant na huh? correct huh? if you differentiate is once more d square del by dt square will be zero you will get constant in the differentiator will be zero na huh? so d del by dt equal to constant implies implies constant speed constant speed so in a constant speed machine that means without any disturbance or something there will not be that means their alpha is equal to 0 or d delta by dt will be a constant or speed will be constant and this is for under steady state condition this is under steady state condition okay next step. then case 1 case 1 m alpha greater than 0 that means when pm greater than pe happens that mean increasing the mechanical power m alpha will be greater than 0 or i can say that alpha will be greater than 0 alpha will be definitely 0 alpha will be greater than 0 means what it is means acceleration hai na alpha is equal to acceleration na so positive acceleration our next case case 2 m alpha less than 0 or alpha less than 0 which is nothing but minor radius deceleration which is nothing but my dear deceleration okay deceleration means nothing but pm minus p less than 0 or i can say that p greater than pm p greater than pm to suddenly decrease the speed of the machine The, at the same time the electrical system will not accommodate or adapt with that decreased speed so that the electrical energy will be higher than the mechanical energy at that time so that is called the deceleration of the machine that is called the deceleration of the machine okay so that's all about the uh, saying equation so the important thing is nothing but my dear m into d square del by dt square equal to pm minus p the knowledge of m is nothing but what gh divided by pi f that is the connection you should always you should have for examination point of view this equation is the most important thing only if you know this equation you can solve many questions okay when we are dealing the problems i will tell you okay don't worry so that's all about the sing equation my dear that's all about the sing equation okay is it clear so thank you